Let's go to Terry in Temecula. And I met Terry out at Riverside, California. I've talked about this on the show. But uh, I did a gig way, way. This place was so far out there. And I thought, wow, it's a cool little theater, but it's so far out. Terry did a little research and found out that when they wanted to show Citizen Kane for the first time, and they had not even gotten the complete assemblage, they showed it at that theater. And that gave me goosebumps. I talked about that in the previous bathroom no, I, session. I, I just saw it on the message board. Oh, God, it gave me goosebumps, because you know what a Gone with the Wind fan I am. So I was way out in that theater where they stopped. I believe it was showing a Bo Jest with Gary Cooper and said, uh, we interrupt to show you a first-time hit by David O'Sullivan. Oh, because they all know what it's going to be, because he did the search for Scarlet. By the way, that, that making of Gone with the Wind is one of the best documentaries ever. And there's a great old TV movie called uh, Search for Scarlet with Tony Curtis as David O'Sullivan. And that's great to give that a watch. Uh, we missed Tony Curtis. Uh, that's what we were talking about earlier. Is we had taped that the week before where Eric put him up over my shoulder as Sidney Falco in his magnum opus. Or I guess some like it haunts his magnum opus for his B story. And uh, he passed away. I met him one night in uh, Wolfgang Puck's restaurant, Spago. He was a really hot blonde. Young girl, he was old, he had an ascot on, and I remember we had around five minutes together, and it was a thrill for me. Um, <clears throat> Bernie Schwartz, right? That was his name, his actual name. He was great as Albert DeSalvo, too, in the uh, Boston Strangler. All right, Terry from Temecula, you keep your office so neat and organized. Yeah, I have a little of that OCD thing, but I will tell you that as I get older, I try to leave things hanging a little, because I don't want to end up like the beach boy on a sandbox in my bedroom shitting myself. So, you know, that's what happens when you give in to your, your peccadillos. Next thing you know, I can't travel. I can't eat that. I, so I always like to leave things a little <clears throat> weird. My work area looks like the hotel room where Hunter Thompson wakes up in three inches of water. <laughs> Look what I'm reading in the port loo over here. So crazy. The great Dr. Gonzo, Fear and Loathing on the Campaign Show. I can't even tell you how politically incorrect some of this book is. You can see I'm only on page 37. But already in the first 37 pages, he's made a couple of sentences that I would put the book down, laugh out loud, and think, my God, if he wasn't a liberal, he would have gotten killed for that because it's so politically incorrect. Um, three inches of water, wearing wading boots and a crocodile tail to worship at the altar of Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> You're funny, Terry. And Terry has an article being published on Orson Welles' death uh, 25 years ago. She told me that this morning on the show. I don't know where it's at, but we'll, we'll look for it and try to... Can you look for it and try to put it up on the website? Sure. Terry and Temecula is her name, and she's published an article about Orson Welles where she interviewed his daughter. I keep a fly swatter handy to shoo away bats. I need help. That's the best line in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas when they pick the hitchhiker up and they're both on blotter acid, like 12 hits, and... Him and his attorney, the Samoan, the kid gets in the back seat and they take their shades off and go, buckle up, we're heading into bat country. <laughs> I don't, you don't even know how much of that is made up and how much, when they're in the dinette or the luncheonette and his attorney pulls out the, the, the bowie knife and uh, he says, the, wait, the waitress bridles. I saw the look in her eye. She'd been cut before. <laughs> It's so grim. But I think it's, I think a lot of it's fiction, but maybe not. Um, Enjoy these samples of the bathroom sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.